Major General Qasem Soleimani killed by U.S. drone strike in Baghdad on 3rd January 2020 was the longtime commander of the Qas Jerusalem Force, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Earth Elite, Special Forces, Division, responsible for extraterritorial, military, and clandestine operations, and considered by some to be among the finest of its kind in the world. A veteran of the Iran-Iraq War, Soleimani played an active role in many conflicts in the Middle East, especially in the Levant, while generally trying to maintain a low profile. His methods were a blend of military intervention through ideological proxies and hard-nosed strategic diplomacy. Soleimani usually referred to as Hagasim Soleimani by the Iranian media was born on 11th March 1957 to a poor peasant family in the mountainous, sparsely populated village of Rabord near the town of Baft in the southeastern province of Kerman. After completing elementary school, he left home and moved to Kerman, the provincial capital. Several years later, he joined the water organization of Kerman as a technician, rising through the ranks. As Iran's former Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi had at that time eliminated all viable political groups, the clerics who opposed his regime grew in influence. One such cleric was Sayyid Reza Kamyab, who was well known in Kerman for his fiery speeches. Soleimani was a religious follower of Kamyab, who would be assassinated by the Marxist Mujahideen e. Kals organization in July 1981. Soleimani also participated in the revolution that toppled the Shah in February 1979. In May 1979, Soleimani joined the newly founded Erg as a volunteer. He proved to be a fast learner and was soon rising through the Erg's ranks. The Iran-Iraq War. In 1980, Soleimani was instrumental in training and dispatching to the front of the Iraq-Iran War several Erg battalions from Kerman. He was eventually appointed to command the 41st Surala Division based in Kerman, which was sent to the front and played a key role in preventing Iraqi forces from overrunning the town of Susangard in Khuzestan province. He was reputed to be one of the bravest and shrewdest guys at the front, and he personally led operations, during which he willingly risked capture by Iraqi forces. When the war finally ended in August 1988, the Erg commanders became commissioned officers. Most of the top commanders were given the rank of Brigadier General, like Soleimani, or Lieutenant Brigadier General. Ties to the Ayatollah. When reformist, Cleric Mohammed Khatami was elected president of Iran on 23 May 1997. He began a cautious program of reform. Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei abruptly removed Major General Mohsen Rezaei from his position as Erg chief and appointed Brigadier General Yahya Rahim Safavi, a hardliner, in his place. 33 high-ranking Erg officers, including Soleimani, signed a letter protesting against Rizali's dismissal and implicitly blamed Katami for it. Interestingly enough, though, Rahim Safavi subsequently appointed Soleimani as the commander of the Quds Force. On 24 January 2011, Khamenei promoted Soleimani to Major General, a rank held by very few military commanders in Iran. Later, Speculation circulated as to who would be the military's candidate in the 2013 presidential election. According to a well-positioned source in Tehran, Soleimani had been talked up in hard-line circles in part because he had proven consistently loyal to Khamenei. In the event, Soleimani was not put forward and the election was won by the centrist candidate Hassan Rani, Iran's general in Iraq. Soleimani had political and military influence in Iraq through Shiite and Kurdish political parties, who rebelled against Saddam Hussein in the 1991 uprising. The US and British invasion of Iraq in March 2003 greatly worried the Iranian leadership. Thousands of Iranian intelligence agents and Quds Force personnel penetrated Iraq, establishing links with various groups and reportedly distributing vast sums of money. As resistance to the occupation intensified, the US military began to accuse Iran and the Quds Force specifically of intervening in Iraq and bearing responsibility for several American casualties. In early 2008, the Al-Mahdi army of the Iraqi Shiite leader Muqtada al-Sadr began fighting the forces of the Isbaqi Iraqi government. With the situation slipping out of their control, representatives of the two sides met with Soleimani in calm and, after intense negotiations, agreed to a ceasefire. This was yet another manifestation of Soleimani's influence and power in Iraq. The Guardian newspaper quoted Iraq's former national security minister, Muwafaq al-Rubayi, as saying, Soleimani is the most powerful man in Iraq. Without question, nothing gets done without him. A senior US official added, he dictates terms, then makes things happen, and the Iraqis are left managing a situation that they had no input into. In 2009, a leaked report alleged that Soleimani had met Christopher Hill and General Raymond O'Brno, America's two most...